Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai and I'm so excited to be back. We're going to be doing some more meatloaf today. I'm so stoked. I recently got on this meatloaf train and I'm on it full force and I cannot wait to, you know, discover what more of what he's done. He was such an incredibly gifted, talented, theatric, dramatic, but just honestly, just so, so talented. A voice that is just so very unique and a once in a lifetime experience. I'm very sad about his passing. And, you know, even though he's no longer here with us, we're going to definitely keep his name alive and that legacy by, you know, sharing his music. And, and I just can't wait to discover more of what he did when he was here. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, let me know which other Meat Love song you'd like me to do so I could add it onto the list. And I just can't wait to continue to discover it with you guys. Um, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. That being said, let's get started with today's video. Spirited at the music and it looks <laughs> nice and creepy. <laughs> Love that bass in the back. Born down in the tunnel with a deadly horizon. No, I swear I saw a young boy down in the cover. He was stopping the foam in the heat. Love it. <laughs> Okay, we're getting into a softer part here. I, I, I'm so sorry for the pauses. You all understand. We have to appease the copyright gods here on YouTube, but I'm loving the energy that he brings. I don't think I've ever seen a performance where he didn't completely own, you know, the stage or the setting in the last, you know, the first musical, uh, music, music video, which kind of felt like a musical. Um, and uh, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. It honestly felt like there was a lot going on. It really felt like Beauty and the Beast, kind of Dracula sort of vibes, but it, it, there's nothing I've ever seen where so far that he just does not completely own everything. There could be so much stuff happening. In the last video, there was, you know, a woman on the stage performing and they were you know getting some home runs on the stage and it was a lot but it just felt like he owned everything like he really just commands it he has his confidence and i don't know much about him and his uh, you know how he was in his personal life but it almost feels like when he goes on stage or when he's performing when he is meatloaf he is almost this like alter ego like he just all this this power it's so empowering it's all the confidence is literally exuding out of his body it's exuding out of his pores and you find yourself kind of like swaying with him and being like yeah hell yeah like i feel good about my day too because you know he's over here just like making you feel so good about yourself and honestly i'm loving i'm loving the piano the piano in the back is so good that bass i think i saw i heard a little bit of a guitar i'm not sure i was kind of just trying to focus on his voice and i'm just like oh my gosh it feels like i'm on sensory overload but i think this is so cool i just i just i don't know what it is i just want to like dance and i don't know it feels good um i went back just a little to not miss anything but let's continue <laughs> I don't want to miss the change there, so I'm so sorry. I went back just a little bit more. Oh, that eye contact. I'm gonna hit the highway like a battering ram on a silver black phantom bike. Oh, and the metal is hot and the engine is hungry. I'm all about to see the light. Nothing ever grows in this rotten road and everything is stunning and lost. Hmm. 
but great. The grit in his voice. Okay, oh! <laughs> Never seen someone take off their jacket so aggressively. kind of need to collectively um compose ourselves i feel like oh my goodness this is just so damn fun i'm loving i'm loving the energy you know that he brings here he's just someone who can light up a whole room can light a firecracker up your ass this is just such a great great performance you know people can be great you know um he has like a very like theatric i don't know if he was classically trained or not but i kind of get elements of that it's very like operatic and you know very i don't know it's just very very like theatrical it almost feels like we're watching uh, uh, the best little gothic musical um it almost feels like that and i i love the elements of that in his voice but it's the energy that you bring you know you can be really really good but if you're in a musical and you're not really like uh, uh making me believe your role it just kind of falls flat that's what i said in the last video that we did it's it's him it's him that makes the performance it's not just his talent you know because anyone can get good at singing anyone can be gifted with beautiful uh voice and and beautiful you know or, or be a beautiful mus a musician be really good with an instrument whatever but if you don't bring that energy if you don't have that in you it's not really gonna come across that well you're just gonna be there um you have a pretty boys but sick cool awesome but he has this aura it just just i don't know it's just so captivating and i love that so much and i don't know just the way that he rips his jacket the little eye contact he's just so you could see his personality he just seems like this you know little goofball he's just this, uh, this like oh, rock legend but you know at the end of the day he seems like a big soft teddy bear goofball that i'm sure you know captivated so many people in his real life and i just i love seeing those little moments of him um I think this is a great my face honestly hurts from smiling so much but yeah i'm gonna go back a little it seems like we're getting this little break here so i just needed a minute um to compose myself as i think we all do but let's continue Heaven, I'll come crawling on back to you. Like a time. Oh, 
love that. Give us that build up. <laughs> you ever see something so beautiful it just makes you want to cry like a little baby you just i don't know i had so much fun and i don't know if for, for some weird reason at the end i just started feeling really sad i don't know if it's just because i'm over here like uh, really really obsessed with him and i love him and then i'm like oh he's no longer with us i guess it's almost like a weird bittersweet feeling but man did i enjoy this from the start to finish it honestly it was an eight minute song and yeah i know these meat love songs can be a little bit longer by today's standards usually i feel like we all want short form content so we want like anything over four minutes we're like oh that's too long but honestly it feels like eight minutes is not long enough for a meat love song it honestly feels like I would definitely immerse myself and listen to uh, double this 16 minutes and it probably go by just as fast because you're having so much fun and sometimes I'm forgetting that I'm even you know recording this video I'm just like ah and I'm like oh oh I'm, I'm smiling like an idiot and I'm over here like crying and smiling and laughing and just captivated it's a little bit of everything it's just such an emotional thing listening to Meatloaf now knowing that he's no longer here and you know seeing what the world lost such an incredibly talented beautiful crazy chaotic person but in all of the best ways i really really truly love how he owns every video captivates is so talented but is is not defined by just his talent is i feel like what makes meatloaf meatloaf is something that you can't even recreate you can't even explain is just him he just is um or just was you know it, it almost feels like it's something that you can't even put onto words because he just has this aura about him and there's very you know that, that's a rare quality I, I feel like a lot of times people i, I listen to people new artists and it almost feels like carbon copies of another person but when i watch these older stuff i'm just like well yeah these are once in a million people and whether they're still here or not you're just like wow we're probably not going to get another person like that probably ever um so all we can do is you know keep their name alive and and spread them you know i've never um listened to meatloaf before on this channel but here i am you know fully on this train and i would love for you know other people clicking on this video if they've never heard it before obviously go watch the originals go watch all of his stuff as well if you're new like me and i hope you fell in love with them um that's the best part of this channel is i get to experience music and i get comments all the time saying wow because of you i discovered so and so and now i'm going to see them live in concert or now they're my favorite band you know we're all kind of just collectively listening and sharing and enjoying music together and i think that's the best part of this journey um but Let's talk about that voice. I know I said he's not defined by his talent, but that's not meaning that I'm taking away from his talent. All I'm saying is he is meat. Meatloaf is meatloaf. And he obviously has a killer voice. He has 
some of the best goddamn vocal cords I've ever heard on this channel. Such incredible range. But I think what I meant to say by that is just, I love that what he does with it. He's not just a good singer. He's a good singer that just makes you feel things. And that's what you want out of a musician. Because obviously, you know, music is art and art, you know, is supposed to make you, it's supposed to invoke feelings. And this is something that he definitely does very, very well. It almost does it very effortlessly. Um, but his voice is insane, that great. And then he gives you those soft spots. I almost feels like we want to do like this gothic little like ballroom dance with each other and then get up and dance and almost just like kind of like go crazy and, and kind of get all of this energy out. But I loved that so much. Loved the bass, love the piano, love the electric, love, you know, that snare tone in the drums. I just loved everything about this. All in all, another home run. I really, really, truly enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you thought. Um, obviously, go support the original and thank you so much for, you know, showing me me love in the uh, first place. I'm just so happy. It's been, you know, it's very early and I don't even need coffee. I'm just here listening to me love and starting my day off right. It feels, it feels really good. Um, but Thank you so much for this. If you enjoyed my commentary, be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. I would love to hang out with you guys at 1 p.m. Pacific Center time, but other than that, videos every single day, so stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!